Hello and welcome to Friday Night Nexus. We are in the fight zone, Bobby Roode debuts here tonight in ring, but we are once again starting off this great episode of Friday Night Nexus with none other than the effing and shooting star champion. The following content is scheduled for ages first. That is Finn Balor. You can see the ever more serious Finn Balor ever since winning that FNN Shooting Star Championship when he defeated Eric Young in a two out of three falls match. You can see Fergal Devi getting a little hate of a, some kind of man claiming to be don't know, a follower. Follower of what? Who knows? But Finn Balor ready for in-ring action here tonight as he goes one on one with your current FNN world champion and that is Andrade Cien Almas. Fight Zone is ready for this match. Here we go. The opening match is with Andrade Cien Almas. And his opponent! See, Andrade's not quite treating that championship the way we thought he would. He's not even treating it tranquilo, he's not even treat he's just not caring about it, and that could be the fact that that isn't the FNN World Championship. Buddy Murphy took the FNN World Championship. And he's been cited all over, cited on Hollywood Boulevard, cited in Las Vegas. He's, there was even rumours that he went and betted it on a poker game, like, that's not currency, that is the FNN World Championship, but you can see no matter what, Andrade and Almas will fight, he will fight to show why he is champion, here we go, the bell has been rung, calling elbow tie up by both men, Takes him into a headlock here. Beautiful. Just wrenching that arm straight behind the back. Oh, here we go. Virgo Devitt. Oh, sorry. Finn Balor straight in a headlock. Virgo Devitt, his former name. When he was a prince of Japan. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. Got leg scissors like here. Just choking him out. And there we go. Finn Balor straight back into a headlock manoeuvre. Both men back to their feet. Headlock by Andrade C and Almas. Now Finn Balor, here we go, bouncing him off the ropes, here we go, oh a big drop kick, Finn Balor gets the first momentous offence in this match, Balor punched to the face, going for a forearm there, but then Andrade gives him a forearm and a big open hand chop, oh wow, and another one, here we go, schoolboy here, one, that is a small package, sorry. That could have been it. Luckily it was just a one count. If it's something that is Finn Balor's weakness, it is that. And that is small packages, roll-ups, any sort of leverage pins. Here we go, I tried to see an Almas, oh my god. Balor very smart, rolling to the apron. Slowly getting back to his feet, look at we can see Andrade watching him and a big drop kick straight down to the ground. Now Andrade calling him to his feet. Here we go. And he just stopped and said hell no. But did it anyway and he didn't catch all of it. But it was um, it was offensive nonetheless. Two count here. Straight into the ring goes Finn Balor. Try to see an Almas Colin Ballard to his feet. Here we go, the champion is flying. Big drop kick. He's going for a bin here. Here we go. One. Just a one count. 
Andrade thought that could be it, but Finn Balor said no. Here we go, no. Let's go for another forearm there, but here we go. Belly kick. An overhead kick, beautiful. Here we go, it's got him up, got him up. Shades of Buddy Murphy with a brain buster. That could have been mind games by Finn Balor. The champion is in trouble. Here we go, non title match. Two, three, no. Oh my god, we've seen Andrade try to get straight back to his feet there, but Balor said no. Balor going for another forearm there, and here we go, a forearm offense by Andrade and kicks him in the gut a few times. Beautiful chop there on a forearm straight to the face once again. Big Irish whip, here we go. Nope, he just misses it. Both men groggy. The Balor goes down either way. Oh, going for a beautiful forearm there, but misses it once again. Here we go. What's happening here? Both men in trouble, but nope. Finn Balor's in control, here we go, bouncing off, and a kick straight to the face, vintage Balor right there. Balor, oh, he possumed him, but he goes over anyway, beautiful. Here we go, you can hear the fight zone chanting for Balor. Three count, both men back into the ring. Balor's on the top rope, are we seeing Air Balor, here we go, Hurricanrana, beautiful, Balor's got the pin, one, two, oh, just a two count, Finn Balor, in control, but no, here we go, Andrade coming straight back, open hand chop straight to the chest, down goes Balor, this can be, oh my god, I don't even know what to call that, it was like a spinning big boot. Oh, and he's just ground and pound in the face. The fight zone are right behind. Oh my god, another one of those big kicks. The fight zone behind Balor here tonight, shouting Finn. Oh! Yeah. Here we go. He was eyeing him up for something, but a slap of disrespect. We can see Andrade's not the same usual happy self, but it could be because he doesn't have that championship. Oh wow, he's going for a forearm there, just misses it. Here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful belly kick right there, here we go. Balor kick straight to the back. Oh, oh, oh. nope. Balor, nope. Andrade Cianamas, here we go, Hammerlock, DDT, just like that, the match must be over, two, three. Andrade Cianamas wins this match in a beautiful fashion, even though it wasn't as usual self being happy, it was still effective nonetheless. Andrade Sierra Almas wins this match. seen this hyped up last week on the Twitter page. There's many speculation who this could be, but here we go, we are going to find out here tonight and it seems like the messages have been getting sent. Oh my god. That is, that's Austin Aries, your former shooting star champion. What on earth is Austin Aries doing back in the fight zone? And you can see the shock in Finn Balor's face. And Austin Aries goes straight in the ring, look at the shock! Oh, it's straight up the referees back in to get in between these two. But you can see Austin Aries telling him to get to hell. Get the hell out of his way, this is a fight, this... Oh, look at that face off. Austin Aries hyping it up, here we go! Oh, bro. Both men fighting back. Finn Balor's just been in a match, and he's, but he's taking these forearms like a boss, here we go, 
Oh, oh, this could be the game changer. Mongolian chops right there. Oh, and here we go. Side door suplex. This man has just been in a grueling match against the FNN world champion, but now he's getting taken to war off of the truth. Austin Aries, the greatest man that ever lived, double A. And look at that smirk face. He's got a much different look to what he originally had here in Friday Night Nexus, but some of the fight zone love him, some of the fight zone hate him, it seems. Look at this. Finn Balor just out there in the corner, big Irish whip, and a brutal drop kick. Oh, Finn Balor straight back to his feet, great forearm after forearm, but nope. Austin Aries, scoop slam into the centre of the ring, right on that Ethanin logo, in the centre of it. And look at this onslaught, this onslaught by Austin Aries, and both men go over the top. Jesus Christ, this is war, Austin Aries taking a battle, taking a tanking right into the face, the chest, the everything of Finn Balor and nobody knows why but the fight zone are loving it either way and we can see Austin Aries taking him up the ramp right here, up the walkway, sorry the aisle, this is a beating, beating and a half. Aries, look at the fight zone going crazy. Oh, so he's picking him up. Mongolian chops. Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. The wings of Icarus happening right here. Look at this image right there. The wings of Icarus. The last chancery, and you can see him tapping out the referee, ringing the bell. Finn Balor must be hot. The bell has been rung, and Austin Aries heading back to the ring, and he has a microphone in hand. See Austin Aries in the ring. What a sight to see. Aries back in Friday Night Nexus. And you can see Austin Aries trying to hype up the crowd that they are not having it. Why is Austin Aries here? He's not been used as an example. He, he did win the championship. But he also did lose the championship in the click of a finger. Oh wow, Austin Aries, short and sweet, the message has been sent. Austin Aries, the truth. The greatest man that ever lived is back in Friday Night Nexus. If there's anyone that could be responsible for the return of Austin Aries, it could be this man. And that is the executive shareholder, Mr. Money. This is Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon taking in the evasion from the fight zone. Got a mic in hand. I guess he's going to address the return of Austin Aries, or he's going to address all of these rumours that's been going about in, in the, the zeitgeist, in the hemisphere and those rumours we'll just go, we'll let Shane McMahon talk about what those rumours are it is forever changing, we've seen so many people appear in Friday Night Nexus WGP Heavyweight Champion is coming to FNN. 
what huge news for Friday Night Nexus and it seems like it's being argued between Bobby Roode and Dean Ambrose but speaking of Bobby Roode he debuts up next against this man and this man is the leader of the Trent Seven Army Trent Seven coming off of a huge loss against the Border Watch with his tag team partner Tyler Bate. But the thing is, is they took the fight to the Border Watch. I actually thought the Border Watch were going to lose. There was a lot of rumours that claim that the Border Watch are getting sloppy, but We've seen Johnny Curtis pick up a victory against the hardcore champion Rob Van Dam last week. That is the complete opposite of sketchy or sloppy, whatever way you want to say it. But this man, Tread Seven, and his opponent, Bobby Freaking Root, I am sure they are far from sloppy. Bobby Roode showing up in great fashion shows up at FNN fully loaded the latest FNN special and claims that he is here to make FNN glorious he is here to give FNN the it factor then he claims that he is being given a match against Okada at a future FNN event but that is when it was purely speculation but now it is confirmed Okada is coming to Friday Night Nexus and it seems like Shane McMahon has said this man has to earn it, he has to step up his game but at the same time his opponent Dean Demox Ambrose two time FNN heavyweight champion also has to step up his game. But there it is, Finn, no, Bobby Roode, sorry, Finn Balor was on earlier. There's just so much high profile stars, high profile wrestlers in Friday Night Nexus that we sometimes forget who is who because of just how much gold we are seeing. And that is one word that just seems to match the name. Of Bobby Roode and that is gold. Always, no matter the company, this man wins gold. So be it the Tag Team Championship, the Development Championship or even the World Championship. But here we go, former Shooting Star Champion Trent Seven one on one with Bobby Roode and a beautiful suplex there. Uh, we just heard the first glorious of the match and we can see Trent Seven get back to his feet Bobby Roode allowing him to get back both men and here we go Trent Seven's got him now and a suplex from Trent Seven and we can see Trent Seven saying how glorious was that Trent Seven allowing Bobby Roode to his feet here we go both men face to face Oh, both men just playing with each other, that's not what I meant, both men are just toying with each other, a stiff European uppercut and a beautiful clothesline by Trent Seven, oh beautiful chop, here we go, that clothesline in the back of the head, then we can hear the crowd are on the side of Trent Seven, or not on the side of the it factor perhaps after what he did, to the face of FNN last week, to the hand of God. Now we can see Bobby Roode way up those ropes, showing off as per usual. Oh, and there we go, just a kick straight to the chest. Bobby Roode, ruthless bastard, that's what he is. Oh, 
forearm. Another forearm. Chop. Oh, and here we go. Another chop. And another. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, listen to that. Oh, chop. And here we go. With the big chop. Nope. Punch. Just like that. Vintage Trent Seven here. And here we go. Suplex. Trent Seven saying, come on. Oh, what is Trent Seven thinking? Trent Seven getting pumped up. He's going up those ropes. Bobby Roode still groggy. Oh, Bobby Roode showing off, but he shouldn't have showed off. He was met with a missile drop kick to the side of the head. Here we go, Trent Seven. Oh, a big elbow straight to the face. Gonna ruin the it factor. The it factor's looks, that is. Here we go. Trent Seven. Oh! Just like that. And oh, nope, it was going for another. But here we go, big clothesline. Trent Seven. Getting destroyed here by Bobby Roode. This constant onslaught of chops and punches. Oh my god, a big chop to the bridge of the nose. Here we go, chops in the corner. And Bobby Roode, look at this onslaught. And down goes Trent Seven. Oh, he's picking him up. Perhaps for another clothesline to the back of the head. If you didn't know, hits to the back of the head are usually the number one causes of concussions. But this isn't stopping Bobby Roode. Oh, here we go. Vintage Roode with a beautiful, beautiful neck break. And here we go with the first pin of the match. Bobby Roode could have it. And it's just a two count. Bobby Root wondering what he can do this new canvas in the ring the new apron or the new mat sorry could get destroyed here tonight with the blood of Trent Seven if this match goes any further the way it's already going here we go blood sweat and tears will be lying in the middle of that ring of Trent Seven but nope Trent Seven straight back to his feet but he just misses and vintage Root right there Big neck breaker, here we go. One. Oh, just a one count. Just a one count. Bobby Roode, what can he do to put Trent Seven away? Oh, here we go. Nope. Bobby Roode hits the outside. Oh, and wait a second, Trent Seven. Trent Seven, what has he got planned? Here we go, here we go, here we go. The big clothesline. Folded him up. We can see Trent Seven just making sure his face is okay, making sure the moustache is still intact. Oh, here, oh no, what is this? He's got a power bar. I thought he was going for Seventh Heaven in the outside, but here we go. Oh, what? No, 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 right under the apron. And he's swinging up. Oh! Oh my god. I think he may have just knocked out Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode out on his feet. Trent Seven has this by the looks of it. And here's the pin. One, two. Oh my god. Trent Seven shocked. Trent Seven staying on Bobby Roode. Taking his time. Oh, beautiful diving splash. Diving splash. Here we go. Boy. He's working on those knees. The Trent Seven, perhaps looking for the Seven Stars Lariat. He just has to get him into position. Nope, that's a beautiful suplex. Beautiful back suplex right there. Here we go. And that's a beautiful German suplex. Trent Seven not messing around here. Oh, and here we go. This is a chicken wing suplex. And he's holding it for the pin. Two, three, no, we had him bridged, but that wasn't quite it. Oh, a splash, here we go, vintage splash here. Two, just a two count and a shock. Trent Seven shocked, and you see Bobby Roode reach straight for the ropes, I mean, no more pins can be done. If he's holding that rope, but look at this, Bobby Roode perhaps used it as a possum somehow. Bobby Roode's getting one more chance at life, and another one of those huge... Huge clotheslines. 
Bobby Roode to oh, he's eyeing up, eyeing up Trent Seven. Kick to the gut. Here we go. Just like that. Glorious D D T. Bobby Roode hooks the leg. One, two, three. Bobby Roode in fabulous fashion showing how the it factor destroys other wrestlers we could see him referencing that is the glorious dollar Bobby Roode is here to simply make FNN glorious